Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks, and today is Thursday, November 1st. And I know you're here for the uh, live Coronado Springs update, and we will get to that momentarily. But I do have uh, some new and exciting news that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I have it on multiple sources about a new possible opening day for the tower and the restaurant over at Coronado Springs. We've been looking at uh, late August as the uh, date in question as far as when the, the tower was going to open. But I have it on multiple sources now that we could be looking at an earlier date. Um, we might be looking at early July. Now think about it. In August, there's really nothing special going on. But in July, we have the Independence Day, uh, July 4th fireworks. And we have a tower that has a 360 view of all the parks with all the fireworks. So what better time to unveil that amazing new tower than for the 4th of July fireworks. So we could possibly be looking at a July 1st opening day, uh, which would be quite amazing. Uh, so I hope that is definitely the case. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, fireworks views from up on top of that tower are going to be absolutely amazing. And the July 4th fireworks would be a great way to kick that off. So. Hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed, but it's looking uh, it's looking pretty good, guys. So let's uh, let's move on to the live video. I know that's what you're here for. Uh, it's a really cool update today. We go all around, uh, so go ahead and enjoy, and we'll cut over to that now. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks, and today is Thursday, November 1st, and I am here at Disney's Coronado Springs to do a, another construction update. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here, so I always like to come at least every three weeks or so, maybe four weeks, to see all the amazing changes and updates and all the cool stuff that they're doing here. And I always like to share it with you guys, so we'll give it a few. We'll wait for some people to start logging on here so we can all have some fun together. Uh, if you would, always uh, check out PassportToTheParks.com. You can find all my pictures and videos and articles and all kinds of uh, cool, fun stuff there. I've got some people coming on now. Hey, Tammy, good morning. Thank you so much for joining. Ryan, thank you so much for being here. Tara, uh, Tara, Rebecca, Jade, Scott, Rushton. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you guys. Darren, welcome. Brandon coming on. Thank you so much for being here. Alicia, thank you guys so much for being here. We'll wait for a few more people to come on. Uh, if you haven't yet, also please uh, head over to YouTube and subscribe over there with Passport to the Parks. I always appreciate that. It really helps to support uh, everything that I am doing here, bring all these cool updates to you guys. It is Passport to the Parks over on YouTube. Uh, drop some likes and some comments over there. I always appreciate that. Love answering questions and talking to you guys. Hey, Michael, good to see you. Uh, 29 days till you get here. I know the countdowns are on. I love hearing about your countdowns. Jeanette, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Got more and more people coming on. Victoria, welcome. Uh, let's see, Tara, Rebecca, Jade, Scott, Rushton. Uh, coming on Saturday. Cannot wait to be staying at the Caribbean Beach. That is so awesome. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The weather has been perfect here. You guys are going to have an awesome time at the Caribbean Beach. Christy, thank you so much for being here. Uh, also, if you guys have not planned a vacation down here and you are looking to do so, I have some awesome friends over at Living with the Magic Vacations. You can find them at livingwiththemagic.com, and they will help you to book all of your vacation needs down here. Uh, really great people, so go check them out. Sheila, thank you so much. You love my videos. July of 2019, two families, six kids, Caribbean Beach. That is awesome. You guys are going to have a great time over there. It's gorgeous over there. Cindy, 11 more days uh, staying at Caribbean Beach. A lot of Caribbean Beach today. Uh, let's see, Julie, staying at Coronado Springs in August 2019. Julie, that's going to be the perfect time to be here. It's uh, got some confirmation again today. They are looking at the end of summer. August is probably going to be the magic month for Coronado Springs. So that is an awesome thing. Sophie, good morning. Thank you for being here. Uh, be here Sunday for a conference. Cool. It's a perfect conference place to be. I love it here. All the conference people. Uh, best place to come for conferences, definitely. Victoria, the family is doing great. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, Sheila Coronado was your second choice. Uh, either one is a great choice, trust me. Let me get you turned around here. And we'll, uh, we'll take a look. Again, you can see it is gorgeous here. I always like to pan around, let you guys know how beautiful it is here, which you already know. But we'll start at the map, like I always uh, like to start over here in case you guys are new to watching or if you just want general information, try to give you as much as I can. 
Uh, let's see, we are starting here in El Centro. Um, definitely some changes going on here, a lot with uh, El Mercado, used to be the uh, pepper market. Um, Panchitos is going under a lot of uh, some interesting changes in there, which is the gift shop. Uh, so what's basically happening is El Centro um, is going to be next to the new tower that's being built here. Uh, everybody always asks, is that a vacation club tower? It is not. It is just a regular business tower. It's going to be used mainly for the conventions, but you can book it as a regular guest as well. Uh, I'll try to catch up on comments as I go along. Hey, Juan, thank you so much for, uh, for joining. Then as we go around, we have the cabanas, um, which is right next to the towers. You now have 8A, 8B, and 8C. It's no longer 9A for the cabanas. All of the rooms on property are renovated and open. Uh, the ranchos, all still staying the same as far as numbering. The casitas, all still staying, staying the same as numbering. Uh, preferred rooms are uh, 1, 2, and 3. What else do we have here? The convention center, very, very large area over there. Um, the tower and the El Centro area are going to join. This will all be one area once it's done. Uh, they are building up the parking lot to match the new tower. So there's a lot of construction out front in the, in the parking lot as well. Um, you have the uh, restaurant, which is, well, you can't see it right now for the Laguna bars in front of me, but they are building a beautiful restaurant right out in the middle of Lago Dorado. Uh, the dig site, the pool area, is still closed. They're still looking at mid-December. I believe December 12th was the date for now. It will be open for the holiday season, uh, but after the holiday season, they may close it down again for some additional renovations. But it will definitely be open for the holidays if you're planning on coming around that time. Uh, Sheila, is there a difference uh, between the rooms, cabanas, casitas, and ranchos? Um, the basic rooms are, are all going to be laid out the same. You may just have some different um, aesthetics on the inside, some different artwork and things like that. But for the most part, you're going to get the same quality of room, the hardwood floors, the same beds, uh, coffee makers, those kind of things, TVs. But you just may have some different artwork and a little different feel in each area. Uh, you do have some suites and things over in the casitas, uh, which are larger, a little more amenities and things like that. Hey, Allison, thank you so much for, for joining. appreciate you being here. Okay, so that's the map. Uh, if I think of stuff along the way, we'll talk about it. But we'll head down towards the tower right now because that's always the most exciting part to see. All the amazing uh, things that are happening with the tower. We'll take a quick look out at the restaurant real quick. It's definitely coming along. Got the entire roof on it now. All the walls seem to be in place. They're out there right now in a boat looking like they're putting some fencing up. Definitely have to be safe. Don't want to fall into the water. But these walkways are definitely going to be a huge plus. Uh, if you've never stayed here before, it is a pretty long walk around the entire area. So if you're staying back in the Ranchos area and you had to get to El Centro where I'm at now, you'd have to walk all the way around Lago Dorado here, which is the lake. So you see now that they're building these walkways that are going to intertwine with the, the restaurant in the center here, so it'll save you a little bit of time. You'll be able to, you know, kind of walk across the walkway and make your way across, and boom, you're right here, right at uh, El Centro. So very, very good deal on Coronado Springs part. I love it. Hey, Carrie Ann. Uh, so glad you're doing the Coronado Springs. We were thinking about staying here on January 21st, but not sure where there will be uh, with the construction. The way it looks now... Um, you're probably going to have maybe some exterior construction. They are really moving along. We'll get there in a second. They are really moving along with the tower and the restaurant. Uh, right now, I just hear some backup alarm sounds and some cranes and stuff going up and down on the side of the building. But as far as construction noise, it's not bothersome at all. It's really when you're on top of the tower is really when you hear it. But eventually, you know, they're going to get the exterior stuff done, and they're going to start moving to the interior. So I would say probably by the beginning of the year, um, towards the end of the winter months, it's mostly going to be interior stuff that they're going to be working on. Maybe some exterior painting and things like that. But the heavy construction is going to definitely be done by then. Because they're looking at a full end of summer opening. Uh, here's what the restaurant on the lake is going to look like. It's absolutely going to be gorgeous. This is going to be the restaurant slash viewing area that's going to be right on top of the tower. We'll take a look in a second. 
you can see the dome area up here, and that's the actual top of the, the tower. We can't see it at the uh, up-close angle, but once we get around the lake, you'll be able to see the top of it. Hey, Peggy, thanks for being here. 22 days to be at the Caribbean Beach. Just got your magic bands. That's awesome. Magic bands come. You know it's real then. You know it's going to be here very soon, and I hope you guys have a great trip. Now, here is what the uh, front of the tower is going to look like. <clears throat> it's going to be gorgeous. You're going to have these gold pillars going up the front. Beautiful coloring, these shiny gold domes. The top is going to be beautiful. I mean, this looks absolutely amazing. Very, very high class. Very great addition for Coronado Springs here. Uh, they're going to have all this beautiful water in the front. Um, so, actually, you know what? This is, I'm sorry, this is the back. I've been thinking this is the front the whole time. I'm looking at this wrong. This is actually the back. So this is a Lago Dorado that we're looking at, and here's the bridge over by the cabanas. I'm sorry, I re-looked at this because I saw uh, El Dorado over there, sir. El Dorado. <laughs> uh, I'm just out of sorts today. You guys know what I mean. But it's going to be gorgeous here. So the front, uh, I'm assuming, is going to have the same pillar work and everything. Uh, but they are building the uh, parking lot and the parking deck to match up to this huge lobby that they have in the front here. And we'll take a look at that once we get around the corner here. See, we learn on the fly here, too. Nobody's perfect. I just want to make sure that I give you the correct information, even though I may, come, may not come out of my mouth correctly the first time, but I always get it to you correct in the end. There's another shot of the, the restaurant. So what you're looking at there is what's being built out there. So we're going to go across the walkway here. So this is all the water that you see in front on that picture. I started thinking to myself, wow, they're going to build all those giant lakes out front. And I'm like, no, the lake is back here. So bear with me, guys. Okay, here we go. Here is the magic shot. You can see how far this tower is coming. They work so hard every single day. And you can see they actually have uh, some tarps over the lobby area now. This is going to be the new lobby. A huge two-story lobby. <clears throat> it's going to be gorgeous. Um, so what they're doing on the opposite side is they're building the parking lot. They actually have to raise the parking lot up to meet the, the second floor of the lobby. So a lot of work being done out front. And as you can see, this is all going to be joined here. You can see it'll all go up to um, El Centro, which is the, the main lobby right now. The main lobby in El Centro is going to become an overflow area. So when you come into the new lobby over here, uh, it's going to have sort of an open feel Basically, what you see at the Caribbean Beach, if you look at my Caribbean Beach video with the new uh, Old Port Royale, you kind of walk in, it's an open field, they meet you with an iPad, um, and it's just, you know, you don't have to wait in the line queue so much, and it's just a very open field. That's what they're going to do here, too. That's sort of the, the modern take on check-ins. You're going to have a lot of uh, suites here. You're going to have a complete club level up at the very top. This is all going to be concierge, club level, very high end, uh, very business class. Then on the very top, you have the, the restaurant up there. You can see the windows. And once we get around to the back of the lake, <clears throat> you'll be able to see the dome itself. Now, they are actually booking for conventions here right now. Uh, conventions <clears throat> have a lot of the rooms booked. Uh, you cannot book as of yet as a normal guest, but it will open in the near future to where you can book. Again, this is not DVC. This is just a normal business class tower. So it's going to be booked up a lot for conventions, I'll tell you that. But you will have the opportunity to book a room uh, yourself. So definitely look into that, and we'll let you know. As soon as they open up the bookings, we'll, we'll let you know so you can try to get in on that. Got these really cool domes that are on the outsides here, too. Um, I think that's going to be more just for the look and maybe some viewing up there. Uh, I asked the management today, I don't believe that is going to be a room or anything up at the top. It would be really cool if it was some sort of a circular room up there. But it may just be viewing and, again, more just for the, the look and feel of the, the tower itself. All right, let me catch up on some comments here before we head around. Sorry I'm falling behind as I'm yapping here. Kelly, uh, 21 days till Coronado. Awesome. You guys are all going to have a great time. I know you will. Uh, Juan, is uh, Coronado Springs a deluxe? It is not. It is a moderate resort, and it will stay a moderate level uh, as far as all the general rooms. They'll still stay at a moderate room level. 
This is going to be what they're considering a business class, which you're going to have a little higher price tag on it just because it's going to be larger suites, larger rooms, club level, those kind of things. But the entire resort is going to stay at a moderate level. Hey, Drew, uh, four weeks till you pick up your fast passes and 73 days till you go to Disney. Very excited. Can't wait for you to get here, Drew. It's gorgeous. The uh, fall and winter months are awesome here. I love it so much. Victoria, the alarm sound is loud and annoying. Like I said, it's right when you're on top of the tower is when you hear that noise. As we walk further back where the rooms are, that noise really does dissipate. It's not it's not too bad at all, especially when you get back in like the, the back half of the casitas and the ranchos. Uh, you're not going to have much issue back there. Now, over in 9C, which is the cabanas right here, obviously it's right next to the tower, so you're going to have to put up with some of that. But it's not bad. It doesn't take away from the the feel of the resort. I mean, it's gorgeous when you walk through here. Got the beautiful white sandy beach over in the cabanas there. Get a nice shot of the restaurant from the side. Actually going to snap a couple pictures. If you guys are new with me, uh, when I do these live videos, I also snap a bunch of pictures as I go along, so just bear with me. You guys can always check everything out over at PassportToTheParks.com. That's where I'll put the pictures and more information and stuff as I get it. So usually what I do is go around by the pool area here. Let's go take a look and see how far they've come with the pool. And I may swing back and head around the back way because I know you guys want to see some of the room areas. Uh, so maybe we'll swing through behind the pool, uh, through the cabanas and then into the ranchos. And then we'll come out uh, the back side over by the casitas. Now they had a big management team that was coming into the pool area just as I was getting here. So they're checking out all the changes and everything that's going on. So you can see they have the pool totally drained. They're actually resurfacing the pool. They're replacing a lot of sand back here. They're going to be replacing a lot of the, the greenery, pulling out a lot of the plant work up there so you can have that lit up again. Um, a lot of changes that needed to be done just to bring it up to date it's a beautiful pool you can kind of see right in the background there they have the slide you know probably just doing some renovations and stuff on that so it's just doing a lot of great work really gonna be excited once it's done hey everybody how are you guys Good. love the resort it's gorgeous so there you go there are your managers Checking everything out, seeing what the progress is, trying to get this done quickly for you guys. Uh, they obviously know it's an important detail that when you come down here, you definitely want this pool to be open. All right, some more comments here. Michael, coming in September 2019, it's perfect time. Definitely things are going to be open. Again, they're looking at the end of August. Get a nice, nice uh, view around the lake here. Now we can start seeing the dome. This is the top of the restaurant dome. It's going to be some gorgeous, gorgeous views of the fireworks. Uh, all the all four theme parks. You're going to have amazing views out there. Beautiful view of the restaurant here. Got to get my pictures. Hey Margie, hi to you too, thank you for being here. Jenny, thanks for the thumbs up. Sophie, uh, yeah, currently no pool. The uh, uh, There are the secondary pools. Um, the Casitas has the pool area over there. Can get a better shot here of kind of what's going on maybe. Yeah, it looks like they have the hot tubs, everything is sort of drained and down. They're just doing a complete refurb. If 
volleyball area. I believe they're going to replace a lot of the sand in here too. So this is fenced off. This is one of the walkways. So this will get you from the Ranchos area, which is right around the corner here. So nice little easy walk to here. You basically just walk straight out and cross over to that other main walkway that takes you right up to El Centro. All right, Carrie Ann, any word on the restaurant on the water will be done and the walkways over the water. Uh, restaurant and tower, uh, end of August. End of August 2019 is the uh, due date as of now. Unless any major, major mishaps happen, but hopefully not. Megan, uh, coming next Wednesday, what is the temperature during this time? Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous right now. You're going to be looking at probably high 70s to low 80s. Uh, the evenings are going to be a little chillier. It gets a little cooler at night. It drops down into the 50s, which, you know, you hear 50s probably doesn't sound cool to, you know, a lot of people from up north, but it really does feel chilly, especially when you're in the warmer weather and then the 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 temperature drops pretty quick so just be prepared for that bring a light jacket you'll be fine but during the day it's gorgeous i mean you're gonna you're gonna have this kind of weather you're gonna have blue skies gorgeous weather very light rainfall joe going for the first time to this resort at the end of january can't wait to check it out can't wait for you to get here joe it's a gorgeous gorgeous place you're gonna love it Hey, Leanna, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Hi to you, too. Margie, my Halloween was awesome. Went trick-or-treating with my daughter. She loved it, had a great time. Thank you so much for asking. Julie, welcome from the UK. Drew, I am working on the Skyliner update. Uh, that's, a, that's a more in-depth one that I have to put some time into. So I tried to uh, set aside some time to do that, but it is coming. A lot of, uh, a lot of major changes coming for that. I have a lot of information, cool information about the um, Skyliner too. So definitely keep, uh, keep track of that. So here we go. Here's uh, another look here uh, about the pools. Each area does have their own uh, pool area. So cabanas, the ranchos, casitas have the uh, little secondary pools. So even though the dig site is down, each area does have a secondary pool, so you are going to be able to swim when you're here. Uh, so don't uh, don't let that bring you down. So what I want to do is just run back here real quick. Uh, I don't really give the ranchos a whole lot of love. And I get a lot of questions about kind of what it looks like back here. So we'll take a quick walk back here a little further so you can see what the rooms are like. This basically just kind of goes behind the dig site, kind of circles around and it brings you out where the cabanas are. But this, this is where you're going to get mostly that southwestern feel that most of the resort used to have. Now they're going more towards that Mexican feel. Definitely a different color palette, a whole different feel, a whole different vibe. You see a lot of it in El Centro. It's going for more of that open market feel. Uh, a lot of the Disney characters and things like that are sort of disappearing. Uh, it's just becoming more of that, sort of that, uh, I don't want to say more plain, but it's just, um, doesn't have a lot of that old school Disney charm. It's just very open, it's very bright, very modern looking, I guess would be the, the word that you would use. I mean, I, I like it. I think it's nice. The Caribbean beach is the same. Um, but you know, when you come to Disney, you have that expectation to feel in that, in that Disney character vibe and to feel that Disney character moment. And I think a lot of it is just going to sort of just a very modern, classy feel is what the hotels are, are gearing towards right now. 
So you can see all the gorgeous rock work back here. A lot of fun. Again, very southwestern. Just some parking area out here. Ranchos does have their own bus stop. All of the, the areas have their own bus stop. I always like to talk about the buses. Uh, if you are staying in the Casitas, Ranchos, and Cabanas, the buses stop at the Casitas first. Basically how it works is the park buses. So Disney, uh, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, they all come in and they stop at the Casitas first, then the Ranchos, then the Cabanas, then they go to El Centro. So if you want to get to El Centro, jump on a park bus. If you want to get from El Centro back to your room, you jump on a Disney Springs bus. Disney Springs comes in first to El Centro, and then they make their way around to the Casitas, to the Ranchos, then the, to the uh, Cabanas. As you can see, it is a very large area back here. Now, when we stand back here, you are really absolutely like you're in another world. You cannot see the tower. You cannot hear the tower. It is very peaceful back here. So if you are looking for that complete seclusion, this could be a good option for you back here in the ranchos. Megan, uh, thank you. What, uh, what number Casita's room would you suggest? Well, the preferred rooms are one, two, three, and four. That's going to be closest to El Centro. Uh, four, what did I say? One, two, one, two, and three are preferred. Uh, four and five are the uh, the normal standard rooms, and they're all gorgeous. I mean, they're all beautiful. I really like the casitas a lot. Just kind of depends on where you want to be. You're going to be farther back in four and five, farther back towards the back end. So if you want less distraction, less noise, that might be the uh, good option for you. Now here is the Rancho's secondary pool area. Very nice area back here. Hey Nikki, I'm uh, doing great. Thank you so much for joining. Dan, you love building 7A. That's awesome. Have you actually stayed there in 7A? Nikki, I was in uh, is it Ranchos building 7A. So everybody's uh, complimenting 7A, so that's awesome. All great buildings back here. I love it back here. So I know we're backtracking a little bit, but again, I don't always give a whole lot of love to this area back here. Just because I like to walk around the lake and it is sort of a, a longer walk if you're staying all the way in the back in the ranchos it is a fairly long walk to get up to the front because you have to you have to come a long way through the ranchos itself just to get out to the uh, to the lake area Here's uh, Rancho 7B. Little cast member area back here. Have the bus stop back there. I believe that is the Cabana's bus stop back there. Hello. All right, so here we have the Cabana's 8A.
Hey, Kim. Thank you so much for being here. Always stay at uh, Caribbean Beach Resort. Another beautiful resort. Coronado and Caribbean seem to definitely be very popular. Pool area is closed. We've already talked about the dig site. So here we go. Here's the cabanas. So you have 8A, 8B, and then 8C. It's all the way on the end. Again, we're back here at the tower. I'm going to snap a couple pictures. Appreciate you guys working with me here. So we'll make our way around again and we'll head over to uh, the casitas now. And again, I've talked about this before. I know you guys like the, the live feel. Uh, I've had some different comments from some scattered folks saying, oh, why do you, you have an hour long video? You have an hour and 10 long, hour and 10 minute video about these resorts. It's way too long. People can do it in 10 minutes. Well, my theory is, and I think you guys agree, is that it's a nice feel of just walking around. You guys are coming here. You want to know exactly what it's like when you're here. I don't want to sit here and chop up every little great part and put it in a video and just show you the little odds and ends. I want you to know what it's like to walk from the cabanas and walk around the lake or to get from El Centro all the way back into the back end of the ranchos. Or to hear these sounds and to know what the, the sky is like. You know, as we walk around here, sometimes the weather changes. I've been here and it's been beautiful. Then the clouds roll in halfway through the video. So you just get that feel of what to expect when you get here. That's really what I'm trying to bring to you guys. And I think it's appreciated for the most part. So... The people who want the 10-minute videos, if you've made it this far into the video, that's the explanation for it. There are some awesome videos out there. I love all the bloggers who do their thing. But this is just kind of what I do. And I really like the interaction with you guys. Uh, I think it's awesome, especially when you get down here and I run into you guys, get to talk to you finally. That's the best part about doing any of this is being able to uh, share this with other Disney fans. So that's my little uh, five-minute sales speech right there. That only took a minute, but... So I appreciate all you guys. Kim, uh, Caribbean Beach in 40 days, going to have to visit Coronado. Absolutely, come over here. Come to El Mercado and have lunch. I come here all the time for lunch. It's delicious. Sophie, those people are nuts. Yeah, <laughs> I got to love everybody. Even the people who leave me negative comments, I'm always positive to them. You know what? There's other stuff out there. I just may not be for you, and that's cool. If you love Disney, you're okay in my book. Have an awesome day. Kim, I love your videos. Thank you so much. i love for you to be here. Sophie, uh, you show us everything. That's what I'm trying to do. You know, I get the opportunity to come here every day and walk around and see all this stuff. So I think you guys should have that opportunity too. So we're basically walking the same path that we did. Here's the restaurant again. That awesome walkway. So we just did a big lap around the dig site. You know, I haven't snapped some pictures over here. been talking so much I'm not actually doing my job Julie your videos are the best thank you so much I appreciate that so much I really do Kelly you're doing a great job I like the actual real look of the resorts walk through if I wanted a promotional 10 minute video then I'd find one keep doing what you're doing all right well that makes me feel a lot better thank you you guys always have the uh the kind support it's really appreciated I always like to mention this too they have the the signs for alligators and snakes and other wildlife uh, always stay on the walkways 
you have to be smart when you're here. This is Florida. There are things out there, unfortunately. Disney does an amazing job of keeping things in check. You know, when they discover something, they take care of it. But there are obvious things that can happen. Uh, there are tragedies that have happened. Uh, so please, please, please be safe. Stay on these walkways. And, you know, play your part too. Darren, keeping fit while providing entertainment. Win-win. Absolutely. I've already lost 114 pounds since last year. So I walk around these resorts all the time. Definitely work up a sweat doing it. Keeps me healthy. That's another thing I recommend. If you're new to Disney, which I'm sure a lot of you are Disney old timers, which is great. But if you are new to coming to Disney, please, please, please understand that you are going to walk an extreme amount of walking. Uh, more so than you're probably used to at home. I'm going to grab a picture here. Again, I will apologize for any wind noise. I have ordered a microphone uh, with a wind sock for my live videos. I already have one for my DSLR that I do like the uh, Skyliner updates and stuff on but I need one for my live videos. So it is ordered, just waiting for it to get here. So I apologize for the wind noise. That's gonna definitely be reduced in the near future. Uh, we'll talk about this real quick for anybody that hasn't been here before. This gate is used for construction. It can be closed at certain points during the day. They don't close it for long. Basically what they do is they come with construction equipment from the parking lot and they need to cross over into the lake to get to the restaurant. So they'll close these gates and bring some equipment across every now and then. It takes maybe five or 10 minutes at the most, so you might have to wait. Uh, but for the most part, it is open, so you don't have to worry about it so much. The normal uh, pedestrian walkway would go straight through here. This is fenced off and you just have to take a little detour around uh, the casitas area. Get another beautiful shot of the tower here. Now you can really see that dome on the top. Some kind of horn. I always look for that beautiful thumbnail shot for my YouTube video. Wonder which one it'll be this time. So just a quick little detour around here. It's not bad at all. You can see the uh, Casitas bus stop, which is just directly in that area there. This is uh, Casitas building number five. Now I'm standing towards the back of the resort. I hear some faint beeping sounds from the tower. I hear what sounds like maybe a generator sound, a gasoline engine running, but it's faint. It sounds like somebody maybe mowing their lawn in your neighborhood. Kim, thank you so much. Yeah, I've I had a. Uh, a mini gastric bypass surgery back in July of last year and it's 114 pounds now that I've lost definitely changed my life I just feel better every single day casitas are very beautiful each each different place has their own feel that southwestern feel all the rock work Back in the ranchos, the Cabanas has that beach feel, kind of an island feel almost. The Casitas just has a beautiful, quaint sort of Mexican village. High class, a lot of fountains, beautiful lighting at night. Really, really pretty. 
There is another walkway through here. It's kind of hard to see through the fence, but it is back there. So you'll have an opportunity to get from the casitas back to the restaurant. Is it open? No, it's, there is a gate here. You maybe see it a little better through the fence. But there's another, uh, another walkway. They have the little covered areas on the walkways. I wonder if they're going to have maybe benches on the sides. It'd be kind of nice just to go out there and sit on the lake. So we're going to wrap around the Casitas area here. First we'll swing around get another beautiful shot of the restaurant and the tower. And I need some pictures. So gorgeous today. I always tell people if you haven't been to Florida before, the sky is just a different color of blue. Especially if you're from up north. I moved from Ohio four years ago. And our our sky, the main color was overcast. So you move down here and the sky is just so crystal blue. It's beautiful. Julie, can the dining plan be used in different Disney hotels or just the one you're staying at? Dining plan is meant for pretty much all of Disney. So you can book restaurants. They always ask you, are you, are you on the dining plan? And they'll make the arrangements from there. So no, it's not just based on the, the place that you're staying in. Sorry, I have to give the Steelers fan a hard time. Go Browns. Brown. Go Browns, man. <laughs> yeah, hey, we got to move forward. I know, next year, we got you next year, I promise. <laughs> you too, take care. All right, here's uh, Casitas number four in the pool area. Now, they have moved the children's activities from the dig site back to the Rancho's pool. Looks like they have a little uh, shop set up here to buy some, just some, oh, it's a little alcohol bar. You guys set up as a little bar? Oh, cool. That's pretty neat. That's a good idea. Just doing a live video, sorry. Yeah. Checking out everything. So here's the uh, Casitas pool. You guys come here and definitely get your, get your beverage. Chill out by the pool. Have a great time. Victoria, keep up the magical walking exercise. Absolutely. Walking is actually a pleasure now. It's amazing when you lose a lot of weight, how much better you feel and how much more active you want to be in life. So, Last year, uh, I wasn't doing this very much. So it's also another great feeling to, to get out here and be able to share with you guys Janie, looks amazing. Cannot wait till August. Me too. I am really looking so forward to this resort opening up the tower and the restaurant. It's going to be an amazing experience. Hi. Another good picture spot here. So here's the, uh, you see the generator sitting right on top of the walkway there. So that's what I'm hearing right now. They could be power washing, just using it for power tools, those kind of things. And that's just going to be something you'll hear at different times during the day. It's not constant. They're probably out there power washing. Stephanie, thanks uh, for the walkthrough. I've uh, been wondering what it looks like over here. This is what it looks like. It's getting more and more gorgeous every day. 
So now we are coming through uh, Casitas number three. And we will head back into the area where they have the campfire now. I mentioned that the ranchos now have the children's activities back in the pool. Uh, but you can also find the campfire and the movie Under the Stars back in the Casitas Courtyard. I'll try to walk and talk with some comments here. Aaron and Kelly, hey, uh, be there in seven days. How's it looking? It's gorgeous. I can't use that word enough. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. It's Coronado Springs. There's construction, but who cares? It's gorgeous. You see they are, they're putting these little uh, covered areas on all the walkways. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be interesting. If they're gonna have maybe little, little tables set up in there, little bench areas, just a place maybe to step off if there's large crowds coming through, who knows. It's gonna look beautiful. So this is one of my favorite areas over here. This is the Casitas Courtyard. This is really pretty lit up at night. I'll have to bring you guys back here for a nighttime experience when they do the movies and the campfire and everything. See all this lit up. See the gorgeous fountain area. See all the hanging lights back here? This is what you would feel like a siesta. You know, you'd have, you can imagine like pinatas and stuff hanging back here. And now here's the, uh, the little campfire area. Then they do the movie back here as well. Walk way up there the, to the convention center. This is Casitas building number one. Aaron and Kelly, any tips, tricks that you could recommend with the resorts? Uh, well, I mean, we talk about a lot of stuff as we go around. Best advice would be to, to watch the videos. A lot of people ask great questions and stuff. Uh, the buses especially, riding the buses around using sort of the internal bus system. That's probably the biggest tip that you can get. El Mercado, I definitely suggest eating there. Interact with the cast members. They are amazing cast members. They're going to do everything they can to make your trip amazing. So definitely try to go back and watch, watch the video in entirety. A lot of questions get answered. See, Daniel, I uh, usually stay in building number three. It's beautiful over there. It's probably probably one of the best buildings, building number three. It's right by the pool. Still in the preferred rooms. Awesome place to be. So we're going to head in here real quick. We'll check out the restaurants. Take a quick through, quick walk through through uh, El Centro. We'll head out front. We'll take a look out there. And I'll try to answer any more questions that you guys have. So here is the Maya Grill. Uh, they are not open as of yet, but we'll take just a quick look.
Really a beautiful restaurant. Very quaint. Love the, uh, the fire pillars in the center of the room. It's really gorgeous up in here. Janie, everybody's talking about the casitas. How about the ranchos? Is it good? Ranchos. ranchos. Really? Are you staying in ranchos? Yes. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. 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 There you go. This, this is one of the best hotels that we've stayed at. We've been staying here since 1983. Yeah. yeah. Every, everybody loves this place. I love it's it, too. So. Yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, it is very nice. I'm well, glad to hear you like the ranchos. Yeah. What? Glad to hear you like the ranchos. Oh, so. Absolutely. Good. All right, there you go, unexpected. They're actually staying in the ranchos and they love it. Another good thumbs up. So here's the uh, El Mercado de Coronado. This used to be the pepper market. Still the same amazing food. Beautiful atmosphere. Just a great quick service. You can get sandwiches, pizzas. I've gone through this before in different videos, so we won't go too in depth. But again, amazing cast members in here. You can come in here. They will do special to order things. I've had some specialty things made for me. Uh, an amazing turkey sandwich that they did in here for me one time. You can check out those videos. Do a lot of food reviews from in here. Hello. Just really delicious food. I can't, uh, can't praise this restaurant enough. Hey, how are you? Again, they are going for this more modern feel. It's sort of a, hello, just sort of a open air, um, kind of a Mexican market. Some people love the changes. Some people, you know, really love that old Disney feel. But, you know, you, at some point you have to become modern. You have to stay with the changing times. They're really catering to... Uh, the business class as well as the families coming in so you have to have a mix between the two Just try to touch on a few things here some of this stuff may get repetitive in some of the videos But if you're just coming tuning in for the first time, I always like to give complete information uh, Restaurant is currently I don't want to say closed, but they use it for um, different events, sort of catered events, um, convention events, those kind of things. Some of the food you can actually find down here in the Ricks. They've moved some of the menu down here. The Ricks just used to be just a sports bar. Now it's a sports bar and grill. So you come in here, you can get yourself a really good menu. They do breakfast, uh, I believe breakfast, lunch, and dinner. A lot of people in there right now enjoying. You can watch your, your favorite game in here. Nice little sports bar. Daniel, Coronado is your favorite. Uh, it's definitely one of mine too. Daniel, new tables and chairs are nice. I actually like them. The old, the old style chairs, the big bulky chairs. I like the new, the new lighter weight chairs, definitely. Here's a little grab-and-go area. You got your drinks. Some little snack areas. Hello, how are you guys? Were you here the last time? Did you help me the last time? I remember you. That was delicious, that uh, that cinnamon roll. That was so good. Thank you so much. Got awesome sweet treats in here. Hello. Last time I was here, I had uh, one of the cinnamon rolls, and they were fantastic. So here's the uh, current registration area. Just an open area, but you have these, these lengthy line queues. So this is all going to change once you get to the new tower. Uh, it's going to be, you basically walk in, they're going to meet you with an iPad. It's going to be a very open feel, and they'll be able to help you so you're not standing in a lot of these line queues. You can see there is a hidden Mickey up here. You guys notice when you come in? Made out of three spotlights. It's not so hidden, but you definitely need to 
be aware and look for it when you get here. So here's the uh, Panchitos. They've made some changes in here. Again, they're going just for this very open market feel. Um, just a modern feel. It's not a whole lot of Disney character. Uh, obviously, they have the Disney merchandise, but they're just going for that so that high-end, classy, open-air market feel. You know, different opinions. People are going to love it. People are going to hate it. But again, it's the changing of the times. They are going to do some more work back here, just some, you know, building a wall. This is going to be cast area behind this wall here. So this is going to be generally what's going on in the entire restaurant. These are pumpkins. These are really cool. These are different cast member pumpkins that they've done. Christopher Robin. Let's see what they got over here. Sort of an experience. Ah, it's Slinky Dog. Check that out. That is so cool. That was done from banquets. Here's recreation. <laughs> Obviously, they're doing the uh, constructions. That's a good one, too. Let's see what else they got through here. Oh, here's the poison apple. These are awesome. Yeah. Event services. Cinderella's carriage from housekeeping. These things are absolutely beautiful. There's such talent. You know, it doesn't just have to be Disney artists. There are so there's so much talent in the Disney company itself. This is the front office did this. These are amazing. It's a little planetarium. The office team. Excellent job, guys. Ah, uh, here we go. Jack Skellington. Merchandise. I love it. I think I love Slinky Dog the best. Julie, I have to try the red velvet cake. Definitely. Daniel says the uh, red velvet cake is the best. Hey, Becky, welcome. Uh, Chad. Uh, 38 days. That is a very short time. Can't wait for you guys to get here. It's so beautiful here. So I'm just going to walk out and share the parking lot area. It is still fenced off. They are still doing a lot of work on the parking lot. Like we talked about in the beginning of the video. Uh, here is the bus stop. So this is the front El Centro bus stop. And again, Disney Springs stops here first. So jump on Disney Springs if you want to get back to your resort. It goes Disney Springs, uh, goes El Centro, Casitas, Ranchos, the Cabanas. All the other Disney parks starts at Casitas, does Ranchos, Cabanas, and then comes here to El Centro last. So here's a side shot of the tower. All this parking lot area, you can see all the earth being moved up here. Uh, this is all going to be open parking, and it's going to be built up to a second level to meet that uh, that new second floor lobby up there. So huge renovation happening out here. So you kind of have to deal with this fence area as you drive in. Um, buses don't normally stop here. The old bus stops, uh, I believe, used to be back in this area somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think they used to be right back in here. So whether or not they're going to adapt these bus stops for the Disney buses in the future, we'll see. They may have a new bus area built back here. Uh, but for right now, uh, you do stop right at uh, in front of El Centro. Julie, uh, I have to do breakfast at the Cafe Rick's. It's amazing. I will definitely do that. Love the recommendation. Thank you. Okay, so again, we've come to our end of journey. Uh, I always appreciate you guys being here. Definitely check out PassportToTheParks.com. See a Disney bus coming in behind me there. Love the Disney buses. Uh, check out PassportToTheParks.com. You can find all my pictures, videos, articles, all kinds of great stuff there. All my social media if you want to follow me and try to get out of the sun here. I know it's a little noisy out here, guys. There's a bus right behind me. I try to find a quiet area. Uh, find all my social media there as well. I love it when you guys follow me, uh, especially over on YouTube. I can subscribe over there. I do appreciate that. It always helps to support everything that I'm doing. Uh, I love you guys here on Facebook. You know, I could use some definitely some more subscribers over on uh, Instagram and Twitter. 
Um, those are kind of needing some love right now. So send people over that way. I do appreciate it. Uh, also check out my friends with Living With The Magic Vacations if you are planning a vacation down here. They're awesome people over there. They will get you booked, have some really great deals. You can find them at livingwiththemagic.com. Um, let me go through just a couple comments here to make sure I got everybody. Stephanie, uh, thank you for joining. Gonna be here in 23 days. Again, if you haven't seen the video, I'm gonna repost it over on YouTube as well. So go check out the whole video, all kinds of cool information, complete walkthrough. Uh, you'll love everything that you learn coming through the videos. Um, so there, there you go. Sophie, uh, TTFN to you as well. Love Tigger. 